I just figured to make a little video of the full size I haven't made one in a while. A little updated thing here. Ended up putting the uh, longer shackles on. I added leaves to the front pack. Made a bastard pack out of it, it being too stiff. Didn't flex all very good. And I got the shackles. They're out of a uh, XJ Cherokee. They bolt in pretty good. I had to put little spacers in between the put washers in between it just so it don't, you know, take up some of that space. But I had to take the leaves back apart. <laughs> Took the two out that I added, but I still got one extra one in there. Got this one here, this tapered one here. We get a little more, a little more lift, but I got more shackle out of it, which is good. But another mod I did over the winter was hydro assist steering. I got a power steering box out of an '83 Cherokee. And I did the did the mod. I uh, poured it and tapped it here in the box. So I could put the hydro assist on. Got the lines there. And I got uh, a friend of mine helped me mount the mount the ram in there. Come up pretty nice. It's tucked up in there. You can't, you know, it's not below the axle. It's kind of right behind the steering. It tucks in there kind of nice. A little mount there on the tie rod. But that, oh, that makes so much of a difference right there. It more than triples like the steering power. So I got uh, got that in there. I got a little bungee cord holding it up there for now until I figure something else out. But that redneck ram, very easy to install. Nice kit. Comes with good instructions. Ended up putting the Reman power steering pump on. Put that on there. Got myself a little power steering filter. That comes in handy too. Especially got all that stuff in that ram. When they put the rams together, you got a little debris in there. So. This is the, got that from Nampa, little 3 8 inline goes on the return. And uh, worked out good. I had to take that out and clean it once because it was, excuse me, it was uh, getting sluggish on me. So I took that out. So I highly recommend the Pirate Steering Cooler. Mine goes through the bulkhead here. I don't know if you can see it. Went to the junkyard and I got one out of a, it's pretty long, it goes way over there behind my transmission cooler. Went and got one, I believe it was out of a Chevy, newer Chevy half ton. I got that out. So, but that ram assist was a good thing. It was a pain in the ass with the line because it's a metric o-ring fitting down on the box. And I got the original style pump, which is just a tapered, uh, like, uh, flared fitting. So the only thing I did is I took the, so you get the line down there. I got the line that's supposed to fit the 83 CJ. And I took and cut the line off, cut the flare off it for the O-ring fitting. And I just used the, the fitting for the, uh, from the original line goes down on there and it goes right up to the pump so tucks up in there nice worked out really good that's behind the steering behind the steering but in front of the axle so I made little spring plates I made to you bolt flip that worked out good too so, cleans up down underneath so that's the pretty much the update for for the steering assist. That worked out really good. Redneck Ram, highly recommend it.